It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1597, recorded Wednesday, November 16th, 2016. Something sounds fishy. On this episode of the Gizwiz, if you're a parent looking for a good Christmas gadget for those little ones, Dick has three gadgets for you. Another $5 crappy corner from me and James with a fantastic letter. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is. The best gadget blogger in town, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? I'm sweating. I'm sweating oh over my here. God. Oh, my gosh. You uh, know what? Am I, am I considered a blogger? I don't know. You know, I just kind of... You know, I don't even, I don't even know what a definite... There. What a blogger is. You have anyway. a blog. I guess all, That's true. all the people who have a blog are a blogger in some sense. Okay, of the I'm a blogger. All right. I'm a blogger. One of the reasons I, I felt like saying that this uh, episode was you got to go to the Squarespace offices, and that's a way to, to run a blog, I guess. Yeah, I yeah, know. I guess so. Yeah, no, Squarespace just moved into new headquarters. Uh, actually, they moved uh, a few months ago, and they have 94,000 square feet. 94,000? <laughs> Yeah, you know, as I talk, just just uh, run. Um, I forgot what. There's a Business what, uh, Insider article. They, 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 yeah, they Business took some Insider. Good photos inside. And uh, they used to be in Soho, and and that's why we put the show up to eight o'clock tonight. They had a little uh, Christmas. Isn't this an incredible space? It's incredible. I mean, <laughs> and they have a roof. Uh, let's see. That's not the roof there. Yeah, uh-huh. They have a uh, 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 is it uh, maybe down the other way? They have a roof garden where employees. That's the uh, bottom floor lounge. Where where are the offices? This is just yeah, all I, nice, uh, <laughs> nice stuff. There's so much. Well, space. The, the, uh, that's the cafeteria. Wow. Uh, that's the There's cafeteria. The there you go. There's the garden. And I said to the woman, so you, they can eat out here? And she said, absolutely. She said, the food is free. Of course. Like of any course. web 2.0, yes. 3.0. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so it, it, it's really great. Wow. And also, I, I got I got to talk to somebody there about, I'm on the original Square pay, uh, Space platform, which is called 5, and they're up to 7. And, and I said, hey, what's up with this? They go, yeah, on. I know. He said, well, so far you can keep it. Uh-oh. But um, he looked at it and he said, well, there are a couple changes we can make to uh, help it out. Uh, but so anyway, it was it was good to meet somebody. In yeah. Person. I mean, I remember yeah. one of your original uh, reasons for wanting to go was to get some FaceTime and, and actually yeah, meet some I, people. I, I, yes, exactly. So I met the PR team and, and I met uh, someone there on the tech side of uh, Squarespace. So that was good. That was great. Man, this is an amazing looking office. Yeah. Or do, or do you have these mixed up with the, with our new Gizwiz offices? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, uh, sorry. These were the, uh, this is what the designer sent over for the Gizwiz yeah. uh, we said, studio. Yeah. We we sent them those and we we circled what we wanted ours to be, uh, and what we could afford. So basically, we just circled one of those white chairs. Right. Actually, it was and, uh, it was this vase right there in the middle. Right. That's uh, right. all we could afford. And we'll so have a just, new uh, Patreon goal. If it's a uh, five million an episode, we could have this office. Yeah. It's up exactly. to you. No. <laughs> exactly. And you? Did you have an exciting week? Uh, gosh, what happened this week? I, um, I recorded something that uh, isn't going to go out for a little while. I don't even know if I can mention it, but it is with a very large company, one of the largest in the world. I recorded a segment with them and had a really fun time. That was on Tuesday. I'll, I'll re-mention it when it comes out and when I know I'm able okay. to talk about it. And okay. um, 
God, I feel like something happened on Monday. It's just been a crazy, crazy busy week. And a lot of behind the scenes stuff, whenever you run a company, sometimes stuff just falls uh, in your lap that you're not expecting. As you get closer and closer to Christmas, there are so many companies that want to do stuff and dealing with that on the back end is time consuming. And so I've just been doing that all week long, it feels like. Got a great, one of those uh, things was, uh, there's a company called Piper, which th you'll love this, Dick. Uh, it is a mini computer. It uses a Raspberry Pi, except that the whole gadget is aimed at getting kids to use the Raspberry Pi. And uh, actually, I kind of want to run over and see if I can grab it from across the studio. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, here, let me try. Let me try to reach it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and now the amazing Chad is dangling out the window, reaching down to the... Okay. And he uh, did it. I don't have audio yet. I had to unplug my audio. There we go. Back back on audio. So this is what it is. This is completely... They didn't... Um, and uh, full disclosure, they sent me this, but they ha didn't pay me for it. And they also didn't... This isn't an ad or anything. But this is what it is. It's this box. And um, I actually put together all these pieces. It came... These are all laser cut pieces of wood, and I put it all together. And then in the inside, you know, there's a Raspberry Pi, and there's these circuit boards, and it comes with a little mouse and a little speaker. And then it also comes with lots of wires and buttons, and you're supposed to put the wires into the Raspberry Pi and then run them over here. And it uses this screen and Minecraft to teach kids which, you know, which wires to run where and how it works. You can see the Raspberry Pi is booting up. It, it's just an incredible gadget. What? So what's it using for a screen? Is that your phone or is it no, come with a screen? No, this is, it comes with a little screen back there. And wow. yeah, I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, I could, I could um, basically unscrew these two screws right here and show you kind of what it looks like in the background. It, it has a little HDMI screen, and actually, I don't know if I will be able to because this latch on top, but we're, we're gonna try. We're gonna see if we can. Um, all of this I built, to, it built um, and it's just, it's just freaking amazing. Let's see if, oh, there we go, yeah, okay. Can we do it? There we go. Yeah, here's a little screen, the back of the screen, and I plugged all these wires in, and it goes into the Raspberry Pi over here. So what does that sell? That's got to be expensive, right? Yeah. If I, I if memory serves correct, I think it's uh, two ninety nine. Memory serves correctly. Okay. Okay. Um, Playpiper.com is where I got it. Now I'm Playpipe. Have, have to put it together later. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're really looking for a way to get kids into a little bit more hardware engineering. I cannot think of a better product. It comes, this is the blueprints, and they're huge. And so you can just imagine putting this on your dinner table and putting together, I don't know, it's just amazing. It's just really, 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 really cool. Um, wow, nice. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, so that was one video that came out this week um, from a company that reached out to me, and I thought, you know, I have my OMG craft show all about Minecraft, and this is using Minecraft to uh, build uh, Raspberry Pi computers, and I thought, wow, that's cool. So I'm glad they sent it to me. So that was one thing I did this week, and there's, I think there's like two or three other things that are <laughs> still happening. Very time-consuming stuff. So yeah. All right. With that, do you want to get into the show? Yes, let's, okay. let's knock this out. Perfect. Okay, first gadget. Uh, okay, we're going over to uh, back to time to play uh, uh, holiday showcase. And if you have kids, or gosh, if I had a kid, or if I was a kid, would I love to have one of these ride on? Kids are so lucky today. Take a look at what you what kids can have to ride around in. 
Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at the Time to Play magazine event in New York City, and we're talking very loud because it is so noisy in here. <laughs> so you know what? I am a fan of the Mini Cooper, but now we have, can we call this the Mini Mini? The Mini Mini Coop. The Mini Mini Coop. The Mini Mini Coop. Okay, tell me what this does. Okay, this is a 12-volt ride-on, uh, two-seater. It goes up to five miles per hour. Whoa! The great features about this are all the really cool Minnie Mouse extras. So all the beautiful bows, and there's LED lights, and lights up. It's just fun to be had for kids ages three and up. Uh, it's exclusive to Toys R Us, available for $350 this holiday. Oh. And we're excited because we won riding, um, riding toy category here at TTPM for the holiday. So mm -hmm. the Mini 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 Cooper. Mini won. Mini Cooper, yeah. I like that. And you know, if you want an expensive car and want a place to easily park it and you want a Maserati, Ooh, I have good too. news. Yes, also available at Toys R Us this holiday is the Maserati. This is a six volt, available for $199, again at Toys R Us. So super excited about the Maserati. And does this also go five miles an hour? Uh, this one goes, fi yes, five miles an hour. Okay. Finally, we have a van uh, kind of thing here. I'll get over here. And what is this? This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Party Wagon! <laughs> okay. Uh, so very excited. This particular party wagon also has the ability to hold Playmates Ninja Toys, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Toys. So as a parent, it's kind of double play value. So it's not only a ride-on, but you can also put Playmate toys in there. You can see some of the connections. Oh, oh, okay. So you can slip in the turtle swords and nunchucks. Is this to raise the windshield? Yeah, oh, okay, to very raise good. The windshield. Um, and again, this is a, a six volt ride on. Uh, super and excited. The price point? Uh, available at Walmart and $199. $199. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I miss being a teenager by that. <laughs> <laughs> We don't uh, have a wide enough screen. Uh, okay, uh, time to play uh, event here in New York City. And thank you so much for helping us out here. We're going to find more stuff. Okay, bye. That is incredible. Maseratis, mini minis, and party buses, VW Ye vans. Yeah, and I looked online, so the... The three hundred and fifty dollar thing is selling for under three hundred. Oh, and that's and nice. the two, the two hundred dollar things are selling. It looks like uh, about one hundred and seventy. <laughs> Matron three thousand says. Now these are the kind of cars I can afford. <laughs> exactly. And, and, or, uh, yeah, and for the price to... of one car payment, get a whole yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They're and, already and, discounted. And, and they're easy to park too. I know. I mean, all you yeah. really need is. Uh... A sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, kids are lucky. I mean, those are, I would have, uh, you know. I know, the only had... thing we had as a kid was a Jeep. That was it. Yeah, you know, I, was, I was before that. I had, you don't even know about that. We used to take orange crates, which back then uh, were wood. Oh, my and gosh. We, and you built skateboard. Uh, you, bought, <laughs> you nailed an orange crate to a two-by-four. And then you put a pair of skates under it. Uh, Normally, it, you know, when people start going, I feel like they're joking, but I don't feel like you were, you're joking. No, here. no. And then you go up on the top and of the hill. And you go uphill both ways and through the snow. <laughs> no. Wow. Uh, yeah. And just pray you didn't kill yourself, that the skates didn't come off on the way down. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway. Anyway, so Maseratis uh, and yeah. gosh, that's incredible. And, and, that, and that's one of the things that, you can sometimes find them on Amazon, but they're usually more right. than... Uh, Whenever they have uh, an exclusive like that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, our, our second gadget, did you have Simon when you were a kid? Yeah, the color memorization game. Yes, Definitely. one of the first, one of the first electronic uh, games. Well, it's back. 
but you no longer touch Simon, and we'll see how, how you play it. Now, I was very bad at this, so fortunately someone from time to play made a video on uh, Simon Air is what it's called. Simon so let's see that. Air. Simon Air. Okay, so let's uh, check their video out. With Lori. Oh, I have it muted one second. Don't let's touch. Test your memory skills like in the classic game of Simon, but don't touch. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM here with the new Simon Air from Hasbro. This is a touch-free version of Simon. The game unit recognizes when a player follows the color sequence by sensing his motions. There are modes for solo and two-player play so you can challenge yourself or a friend. Just choose your mode, turn on the game unit, and when colored sections light up and make a sound, move your hand quickly around the colored sections to repeat the pattern. If you fail to complete a sequence, you'll hear a fail sound, and the unit will light up your score. There are 16 levels to beat, so keep playing to see how far you can go. There are a few new moves that you'll need to learn to play Simon Air, and in some cases you'll need to do two colors at once, four colors at once, or you'll need to swoop one or two hands to repeat a sequence of multiple colors. If you want, though, you can also play the classic Simon game with only single lights. The game includes three AAA batteries for the in-store Tremi features, and we recommend replacing them before you play for best results. This classic memory game uses today's touch-free technology to make Simon a little more modern. It's a test of your memory skills and your reflexes in a whole new way. Players will like the new challenge of moving their hands around the game unit, as well as learning a few new moves to achieve a high score. Simon Air is for ages 8 and up. For where to buy in current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews every day. Interesting. I, at first I was like, come on, that's kind of, why, why make it air? Like, uh, touching it is great. When I was a kid, you just touched it. But ha having a gesture, that's actually kind of yeah. cool. That but how can, how can you do four colors at once? She said, and you can touch one color, two color, and sometimes four I don't four know. Colors. You have to, I don't know. You have to be fast. You have to be fast. Maybe, like, uh, I don't know. That's, yeah, I don't maybe, know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But it's, it's very reasonably, reasonably priced. It's uh, $19.99 is the suggested retail, and I see it's on Amazon for $14.99. Oh, yeah. $14.89. $14.89, 10 cents yeah. off. So uh, that's Simon Air from Hasbro. Actually, it's got a, a fair amount of good reviews there. Yeah. I just uh, 25 reviews, and it looks like about four and a half stars. It just came out, so that's why there aren't more reviews than that. Interesting. I at first I was skeptical at first, but I think that uh, that's a fun little game uh, to yeah. have. You know, nice update uh, to Simon, the classic. Classic. That classic. So classic. You can't get much more classic than that. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, now we're updating. Uh, they're adding electronics reality to betting. What? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know. That's exactly. I, I said to the woman, why is there a bed at this toy display? Uh, well, you'll hear me ask her that question, and you'll hear the answer in this video. Okay, let's watch. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hey, Dick Bartolo, Maz Mattis Rider, and the Giz with still at time to play. So you have a smartphone, you have a smart TV, maybe you have a smart home. Do you have a smart bedspread? Okay, uh, Cassandra here is going to tell us about, is this a bedspread? What are we calling this? So it's a duvet cover. Duvet cover. Yeah, interactive bedding for kids. It's got three stories on it. Right now we're in the world of Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, wow. We've scanned our marker, and as you can see, it zaps up and pops into life, and we get to experience Little Red in augmented reality over here. So you get 360 full range of motion. I'm just going to spin a little bit so you can see. Now, the, the, the kid would be going to bed with his iPad, or is it uh, iOS and Android both? It's an Android. If you have a tablet or a smartphone device, it'll work on either. So there's three stories. We have Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Three Little Pigs. And after a while, can you buy more stories? Because I'm sure they'll learn how to do it pretty quick. So right now there's three, but we do have future plans. We'd love to license this out and do a lot more with it. But the good thing is, once you buy the duvet cover, 
through app upgrades. We can always integrate more activities and more games so the longevity of it can grow and learn with your child. And is this on the market now? No, it'll be available around October 15th on tilttextiles.com. Tilt, so is this the first textile company I've heard of that has gone into the technology field? Uh, so October 15th in time for Christmas, and it's going to sell for? 99.99. 99.99. And, and it's free to download. Okay, and so you get a bedspread. And the pillowcase with it. And the pillowcase. Does, does it come in sizes? Right now it's just the twin, but we have the capability to do larger, smaller as well. Okay, and if people want more info, the website would be? TiltTextiles.com. TiltTextiles.com. Oh, wait a minute. Can you wash this? Yep. Washer friendly. You can put it in the dryer. It won't affect anything. It's just digitally printed on. So, kid spills, has an accident, you can throw it in the washer and dryer and it's still fine. That is very good news because uh, I know that with bedding, you have to send it out to be clean at least twice a year, sometimes more often. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. That's actually uh, really interesting. I have never it seen an augmented reality thing uh, for kids. I don't think I've ever seen an augmented reality thing. No, I don't think so either. I, no. um, you know, someone in the chat room said you could tell the kids if they don't make their bed, they can't download the story <laughs> or read the story. If the, yeah, and, if the and, bed isn't and, made. And, and, uh, uh, and some, someone else said, oh, they'll just lay it on the floor and play it. But they do make a rug version, yeah, that's which is also uh, uh, $99.99. Um, I, I think they're going to have to just keep adding games to it because right now, as she said in the video, they just have three games, right. uh, three, three stories. But I think online there are uh, other games to play. But it's, it's kind of amazing. Well, well, kids would certainly impress their friends when they would say, oh, yeah. look, look at my bedspread now. Watch my bedspread come to life. Well, there will be um, a time when kids... Kids don't remember the days when there weren't smart betting. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. I've been holding my iPad over this bedspread for 10 minutes now. What Why is this doesn't dead? your bedspread have a cool... I mean, Do I'm really impressed with that. And uh, I could also see that uh, after a while, if they add a lot more stories and things like that, it might be an in-app purchase, too. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, yeah, I don't know either. You know, you get 15 uh, it, free stories, and then there's a catalog of a whole bunch of others. Um, and also, I noticed uh, she said they would like to sell the technology to other companies. So, oh, you know, okay. maybe maybe one day you'll have on a Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> and someone will come up and, you know, hold an iPad up to it and suddenly uh, be able to play a game with the pattern. Could so, you imagine it, it, Disney having this? I mean, this seems like the perfect Disney. Uh, uh, I mean, you go in, you buy a bedspread from Disney, and then you get all the Disney stories. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I could definitely see that. From yeah, yeah. You go up to a, a garden, and they say, "Where? How do I get to the thing?" And they say, "Just hold your iPad on that design right. on my back, right?" And the whole thing will pop up, ah. and just follow that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it looks like someone has... Uh, Bleak is maybe sending a... Whoa! Um, oh, McDonald's? McDonald's has some sort of augmented reality uh, feature. Let's check this out. This is from Bleak in the chat room. Uh, looking at Happy Meals and doing this technology with a Happy um, Meal, it looks like. Uh, this is so cool. I don't know at what point, you know, uh, uh, it because you know, games and it, it's, it's definitely felt like a lot of augmented reality so far has been experiences and fun things, not really um, business applications or no, yeah, right, you yes. know, it's always been some sort of gamification of something. I, I can't wait until there's a day when they someone builds this into. A computer motherboard and you have a problem with your computer and you point your phone at your motherboard and it says okay here's how you unlatch the RAM 
and take this out and then put this in or maybe your plumbing or whatever. I mean, that would be pretty cool as well. Um, that's interesting. I no, love that good. gadget. What a good find. Very interesting. Yeah. From Te uh, textiles. Te textiles. Yeah. Well, we know we'll do that in our office is we'll have that white chair, that the only chair we can afford. And then we'll, when guests come, we'll say, hold your iPad against the back of the chair. And now you're in our imaginary office. Exactly. And we, and we, and we can just put all the Squarespace images on that. It'll and change say, from cardboard boxes to a really nice office. Office, you know? right. But never, ever take your eyes off that screen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> the cockroaches <laughs> might, might scare you. They're not there in augmented They're reality. Not there. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Anyway, so those are my three, which means, ladies and gentlemen, it means that there is no way to avoid going into Chad's no, you crappy corner. Chad's crappy corner. Right. Okay, so this is the continuation of five dollar gadget months. Month? Months. We're doing it for many months now. Um, so this is, we every once in a while, you know, you just got to go back to the classic gadgets. And this is a speaker, of course. It's not a Bluetooth speaker, just a speaker. Um, but this has a, a twist in that you can add little fish that aren't real, little robotic fish, and they dance. So this is the dancing fish water speaker so let's uh i wanted to test it out and see what it looks like Dancing. here what okay. and this was under this was under five dollars yeah this is exactly five dollars of course i have the dancing waters speaker but they were thirty dollars oh man okay we have one fish in there two fish oh. three fish helps you count too look at that wow. okay so you got all three fish in there Right now, the blue fish kind of is hanging down there at the bottom. It's hard to show this off without I, spilling water everywhere. Um, okay, so then you put a cap on it. Now, it comes with a USB cable to power this. Okay. And I'm not sure. <laughs> I may have to run a USB cable from the monitor over here. There we go. Plug it in like so. Ooh, and oh, a light. Nice wow. blue LED light. There's the, the fish are already dancing there. It may be actually better for me to show it in the two shot here. Maybe even the single. There you go. So you got your dancing fish. They're dancing. I gotta say, that's a... How are they, are they... What is making them move? There's no music. There's no music yet. I guess they just always dance. Um, there's a little... Uh, a little motor in there that's kind of giving a current oh, in the center. Oh, I see. And so when they hit the motor at the bottom, they, they bounce back up to the top. Okay. Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay, so it looks like they dance all the time. Okay. The LED is moving just from color to color. Let's, uh, let's test out the, oh, I may have to lose my case. The case is kind of getting in the way of the cable that they provide. Not really their fault, it's my case. Okay. Well, Bring that up, plug this in, and play some music. I'd say that's pretty good. That's coming out of that speaker? Yeah. That's, <laughs> I'm actually impressed. For five dollars? For five bucks. Okay. okay. But, but I noticed the speaker has nothing to do with the fish. Nothing at all. Nothing no, at okay. all. Or the LED. There or is, the LED. There is no... Dry, the speaker audio has <laughs> nothing to do... It's like two completely different systems. Let's play that music again. <laughs> I'm impressed with the quality of the sound, to be honest. Yeah. That's now right now. There's a lot of bubbles on these fish. I don't know if you can 
see that or not, but I, I yeah, would assume bit. that they would go away in time, but... Well, if a, you know, for five bucks, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Now, the only the only downside I see is it doesn't come with a power, uh, a wall power. It only comes with a USB. Uh, it's a mini USB, not micro USB, mini USB. Uh, and so you would have to use either a phone charger or something like that uh, if you wanted to plug it into the wall. If you wanted to leave this on your desk and you had a tower PC, you'd have to use up a USB port in order to power it. Um, once again, the light doesn't change based off of the music. The, the fish don't dance, depending on the music. It is basically just a, an auxiliary port speaker. And also, this is not Bluetooth. This is uh, by wire. So auxiliary port speaker and a mini Aquarium. Wow. Hey, can, now, can you get it? On, did this come from the five and under? It did. It came from five below. Now, here's an yes. interesting thing. I searched for a while to find, and I may ask the chat room to, to help me find an alternative. Uh, this is called the, the Dancing Fish Water Speaker. Oops, that was the incorrect doc. Uh, Dancing Fish Water Speaker package looks like this. You've seen it in action. I can't find it for $5 anywhere. Uh, in fact, the Amazon uh, link that I have is twenty dollars, twenty-eight dollars, so almost oh, thirty dollars. You know it looks like the exact same thing, it's right? The, right. I mean, this is basically the exact same thing that I have. Holy cow! It, I mean, that's the ports on the back. This this is it. I I'm. You know, why does theirs have two ports in the back? So mine does two. Mine has the one oh, for the audio. Two. Oh, oh that's right. Well, yes, yes, that's right. You yeah. Do. You do. The cheapest one, Martron's found it on, online for sixteen ninety nine. Uh See, these aren't the oh, exact you see, model. They're... Right. Um, see, I have the dancing water speakers. The dan mm, dancing? Uh, this this kind of looks the, similar. The pink one, uh, go back oh, uh, to the, the previous screen, and it's two of them because there's a right and left dancing water. Oh, I uh, I went back, but I didn't. There we go. There, right. These pink ones? Oh, these ones. Uh, I thought I saw them. Yeah, you did. Go up there. Uh, Sound Soul Mini Amp Fountain Speakers. This one. Dancing yeah. water. There you go. It's 30 bucks. That's what I have, and that's what I paid. Now, but, but, but this they, does stuff to the music, right? Yeah, the beat of the music and the lights change to the music. Is it Bluetooth? Uh, uh, no, it's the same as you have. Yeah. But the thing is, so if you if you want dancing waters, this would be the way to go because it actually moves and changes uh, LEDs to the music. But if you want fish, actually, if you live in well, what's that store called? Uh, oh. the the Sound Soul. Oh, no, uh, this one, five below, five below. Five below, five, five bucks, that's a great buy, I think. I think so, too. And people are saying, and we've stumbled into the business model of most Amazon sellers. Go buy it for $5 somewhere else and sell it for <laughs> 28 on Amazon. Um, especially if you wanted a little water feature to your office, and you couldn't yeah. keep live fish. Um, and you wanted every once in a while to play a little bit of music out of a, a speaker. Five dollars is perfect. Perfect yeah. price. Now, what, what would you rate it if the only place to get it was Amazon and that thing was thirty bucks? No, it's not no. worth thirty dollars. It, I no. pff, okay. like. The thing is, is that the so the downsides are no wall plug. I would not spend close to $30 for no way to plug this into the wall. Um, the other downside is the materials are very basic, right? It's acrylic. Oh, Glass. you know, wait a minute. Last what? week you had a thing from uh, Five Below, mm -hmm. and you could buy it online Let me look. For, for $5 and then $5 shipping. So if you could get that for $10, I that think, might be okay. I think $10. I would be pretty close to buying this because buying it. Okay. You know, I'm thinking uh, the th the things that are running through my head are headphones. You know, headphones normally cost about twenty bucks, and 
if uh, even cheap headphones and if I was going to try to get some sort of music in my office space or at my desk, ten dollars. Also, it's a, it's, a, it's a fun it's a fun desktop thing. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, that I, and it doesn't take up too much desk space. Look at this. Okay, so at fivebelow.com. Um, you can see it, but it is out of stock. Oh. Out of stock. That's why I didn't find this. So they must do a search result removal. Um, yeah, so out of stock at fivebelow.com. But if there's a five below near you, maybe you'll find one. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so that is the Dancing Fish Water Speaker. And uh, hopefully you can find one yourself. There's also, I mean, I think many of these things, and I, I didn't do the, the searching, but you might be able to find a lot of these at things like Alibaba or AliExpress. Uh, those. I think someone in the chat room said Ali, AliExpress wants $30 for it. $30? You're kidding me! <laughs> yeah. Okay, wow, I didn't realize how good Five Below was. This was yeah. This not meant wow. to be an advertisement for Five Below, but <laughs> each gadget kind of keeps becoming that. Um, okay, so that was my $5 crappy gadget. With that, let's move into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. So what do you have okay. For this week? So even though we begged last week for somebody new oh, man. to Come make on, a guys. video, we got zip videos. All you zip. gotta do is go through that closet full of stuff, pick one out, and use your cell phone if you would record it. Portrait. It's as easy as that. Yeah. Um, well, horizontal, so so. right? Yeah. Hor sorry, <laughs> not portraits. Portraits bad. No. Whatever, yeah, landscape. Landscape, there you landscape. Go. Two um, to three minutes. Uh, uh, so I made my, I went to my warehouse, my real gadget warehouse, and found some old Atari drives that I have to get rid of. And this is the video. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I keep missing the clip. There you go. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv, Dick's Gadget Warehouse. It is time to throw away some Atari stuff. I love it, but I'm running out of space. Look at this beauty right here. The Atari 1050 disk drive. This little baby was $600, $599.99. And let's just look at some amazing specs. Look over here. This is the Atari 1050. Atari's replacement to the Atari uh, 810. This new drive mechanism with the high-tech. This is high-tech, low-profile. <laughs> Woo! Right? Um, it has a single density. The original had a single density data disk of 88K. But the new Atari 1050, dual density. Okay. All in caps, because it was that could important. Use the older yes, disc, yes. But could hold enhanced density up to 127K. It boggles the mind. <laughs> okay, I love that. This is the... Uh, and the wallet. The low trim one. Yes, and yes. of course, you had your little power supply. Oh, my God! But wait, there's <laughs> more... This was really great. I could not wait till this came on the market. This was called Rana Systems 1000. So the Atari 1050, all it has is a, an on-off light. This had lights for density if the disc was busy. It was really great. As you can see, it really is low profile compared oh to the gosh. 1050. And this guy came in, it was only $400. And you had your color options of gray or dark gray. Yes. Or beige, sorry. 130XE. This is all in the early 80s. And the 130XE was their really compact computer. Okay, so this is not their little compact computer. That's a power supply. This is the 130XE power supply. I stepped on it. So it is really amazing how far we've come 
with price. Um, imagine six hundred dollars for that disk drive. You can buy a beautiful computer now for six hundred. The Rana was four hundred. You can buy uh, a, an incredible Chromebook for four hundred. Actually, you can probably buy a Chromebook for the price of uh, trying to replace that power supply. Anyway, I called City. And they said, you can dispose of, in the city, anything, uh, most electronics have to be recycled, like at Staples take stuff back. Uh, I called about these, and they said, um, those units are mostly plastic, and they can go out with your regular trash. <laughs> Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, ah. Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Something else that can go out with your regular trash. Bye. Wow, not even recyclable. <laughs> no, you don't have to worry. The guy said, oh, are those, those big old, are they, is it, is it uh, rigid plastic? And I said, yes. He said, yeah, throw it and put it out with the regular trash. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, man. Um, that's incredible. Yeah, you know, Spike does say if you ever want to get rid of them, you may want to eBay them. Because there could be someone somewhere working on some mainframe that needs them. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I wish you uh, probably won't get it, rid of them. Yeah, no. I, I it just it seems to take. Oh, I'm suddenly frozen. Oh, yeah, exactly. no, I'm not. You're back. Uh, uh, I'm back. Um, oh, you have to take pictures of them, and I always worry that someone's going to say, "Well, there's a chip in the," you know. I figure. Exactly. I'll put I'll put them on top of the garbage can, and my guess is that they will uh, be someone gone. Someone will take them. Yeah. Someone someone will, someone will take them. Yeah. Exactly. Man, that that's yeah. uh, insane. Insane. Right. But if if you uh, if you watch this before Saturday night midnight, Staples is has a deal this week where they're giving you a ten dollar off any purchase. Twenty dollars and above if you recycle something this week at a Staples, oh. and if you if you go to the Staples website, they're taking back computers and keyboards and uh, everything that they'll take back. And I did that once before, and it was great. I I, I went in and I bought a a twenty dollar pack of paper towels. I think it was fourteen rolls, and I had one of those coupons. And instead of twenty one, yeah, yeah on, instead of twenty one dollars, it was eleven bucks. And I got to recycle Dennis's old computer. So if you so. do that, first do a video, record the gadget, <laughs> yes, and then excellent. send it to Staples. Yes, you will get recycling. a Mad Magazine worth six bucks, a thirty-plus-year-old Alfred E. Newman, which is picture, priceless. Which is priceless. I have one here, actually. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You'll get one of those. And then you can go to Staples, and then you'll get a ten dollar discount coupon. So this is I expect, I expect mail at Gizwiz TV to be stuffed with uh, code with, with uh, URLs to your video. Put it on YouTube, click the box unlisted, and send us the URL. That way, only people with the uh, URL will be able to view it. And people just won't stumble upon it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, just make sure that we can hear you and that it's in horizontal position. Two to three minutes. Um, and hey, I, yeah. I got to say, what I've been doing recently is recording videos on my phone, and YouTube has a YouTube capture app. You just upload it directly from your phone if you're on Wi-Fi, and it's up there immediately. It's fantastic. So uh, that's what I've been doing <laughs> Scrap the scrap the camcorder, scrap anything else. My phone has just been yeah. Great I enough. use the Gal uh, yeah. We do the videos with the Galaxy S six. I, yeah. I I I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's fantastic to to do that. So uh, I suggest using your phone. With that, let's move on to the letter. Hopefully, it'll play some point. Uh, uh, what? That was the something technical issues and play. Oh well, it that seems to be broken. Um, uh -oh. well, ex uh, act like there was uh, <laughs> <laughs> some time of 
type of letter. Okay, we're we're gonna do uh, the Beatles today. Instead okay, of, good. Okay. Instead of that, and it looks like it's a corrupt file. There we go. back with your regularly scheduled Gizwiz letters next week. Yes. <laughs> and our letter this week fits perfectly just by coincidence with recycling. Uh, hi, Dick and Chad. Chad, you mentioned taking your old alkaline batteries to Best Buy. Oh. I think you'll find out they no longer accept any non-rechargeable batteries in what? their recycling bins. Boo! Here in the Midwest, it's impossible to find a company that accepts them. Uh, in my local agency of Lake County, Illinois, they have the following statement. Uh, proven cost-effective, environmentally safe recycling processes are not universally available for single-use, non-rechargeable batteries like what? A's, triple A's. But the EPA classifies single, non-rechargeable alkaline batteries as non-hazardous. Oh. And advises that they may be disposed of with normal household waste. Never put them in a fire. And don't dispose of large numbers of batteries in a group. Oh, uh, be that's good because to Because you, yeah, I would have taken battery. my big bag and thrown it all away. <laughs> use batteries often you're not completely drained of power, and grouping them together can bring partially charged batteries into contact with one another, creating a safety risk. So, there, so it turns out there are no public... Uh, single-use, non-rechargeable battery cycling centers uh, in his local Lake County residence. But uh, it's so funny. I have tons of <laughs> exhausted AA batteries, and I keep uh, – every once in a while, I'll throw one in the trash thinking uh, they'll, they'll be hard-pressed to get fingerprints off this <laughs> – <laughs> this You're a madman, <laughs> this mad lad throwing away these double you know what, I, you know, for Dick's Gadget Warehouse, I have to find a gadget. I hope I, I can find it. It was a little robot with blinking eyes, and all his whole purpose was to put batteries you were going to throw away into him, and he could blink his eyes for one or two weeks on just a little bit of oh, power. Interesting. Right. So it wasn't enough to power your flashlight. Maybe not enough to re uh, power your remote control properly, but probably enough to light this little guy's blinking LED. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's interesting. Yes, that's, a, that's a funny idea. That's give, a funny give idea. those batteries one last hurrah and make hurrah. sure they're exactly. really dead before exactly. you throw them out. Um, and then... Um, James said, I sneak all my old devices that cannot work with rechargeable A's or triple A's into the recycling bin. Uh, things like old flashlights that use six volt lantern batteries that my wife loves so much has to go in a recycling bin. Good luck, Chad, getting rid of your batteries. It's going to be a year process now. <laughs> Every bag gets a battery in it. Yeah, James Todd. James, thank you for you know what that was very thanks, informative. That yes, was a great thanks letter. for letting us. Thanks for letting us know that the EPA yeah says you can throw out single non rechargeable batteries, but not in bunches. Yeah, that's very informative and takes away the guilt from uh, tossing one or two in the trash can. Very good. Yeah. Okay. You know, I actually have a uh, before we end, I have maybe a bonus letter. Um, I was at the Home Depot, and I saw a really cool gadget, and, and this I'm springing this on you. Do you want to see it? Sure. Cool. I recorded a video, and so let's uh, take it away, Chad, at Home Depot. 
Hey DKD, it's Chad. I'm here at Home Depot and I saw a gadget that I thought that you would love to see. So, you have a tree, uh, integrated lights, you've seen that before. You can change the light uh, mode, you can change it from colored to white. But this is the only time I've ever seen a tree do Oh, this. oh my god, I was gonna it do this, grow. but... Oh yeah. no, you were? Oh no, darn no, it! No, that, no, right no, no, do it, it because... It's the setting. It's, it's so much easier for you to do it. Grow. Yes, so this has a motor inside to get to a total of 10 feet. Inside, the mechanism is pretty simple. The branches just kind of sit on top of each other until until it, uh, it extends. It may take a little while. So it's the Viagra growing. tree, the hey. Viagra Christmas tree. <laughs> the Viagra Christmas tree. Yeah, so I saw this and I just thought it was so amazing. And also, you know, for people getting and putting the star on top of a tree, that's so difficult no, to I'm do. So and, glad, I'm so glad you did this because we, uh, <coughs> Dennis and I saw it. Uh, it's ridiculous. It, they showed it in June and I said, there's nothing I can do with this till... Uh, so they're going to send me some B-roll, but this is perfect that you actually did it in a fully, in a store. Grown. A little looks a little unstable here in uh, Home Depot, but it's much taller. I mean, three. I I can't reach the top where before. Yeah, I think it, it goes six a, to uh, ten uh, feet, uh, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's uh, that's it. The, the oh my God, tree. it's five hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, it's expensive because not only does it have the uh, the growing mechanism, but the LEDs have different modes and different colors. You can switch between oh, multicolored right. and single colored. I mean, it is like that's the Rolls Royce of Christmas yeah. trees. Um, yes. So yeah. Uh, yeah oh, that's I mean, great. It was June in Home Depot, too. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, no, I thought, I just saw that and went, gosh, this is the perfect Gizwiz gadget. I have to record oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Now, are you, do you do a Christmas tree um, for the holidays? You know what? We, we have fake Christmas trees in the backyard, but Dennis and I are hoping, for some reason, people throw out Christmas trees, very few, one or two, three or four days before Christmas. And we're not sure why. Oh, Maybe someone in the chat. Maybe yes, they start and dying? I don't know. We, no, no, we think that it might be people who want to celebrate Christmas before they fly somewhere uh. for vacation. And so what they do is they have Christmas and they buy a beautiful tree and they throw it out. And two years in a row... We were walking down the street, and I said, "Is it, are we kidding? That's a six-foot tree that's as fresh as... And we dragged... Two years in a row, we found one and dragged it home. Perfect. So we're, we're, hoping, we're hoping to have that again. I was wondering, yeah, I was going to ask, like, do you do the alive tree? This is the first time I've had a space to oh. actually put a tree up. So I've been trying to decide, am I going to make a big investment on... A tree, not a big investment, but you know, most trees are like over a hundred dollars. I I can't find a tree. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, you know what? Tree. We should have thought about this. We should have said, Home Depot, can you send me that tree? Exactly. And we'll do it on the Gizwiz. Exactly. And and then they'll say, we'll keep it because. The other thing I want to find is. Uh, if I'm gonna, I don't think this is gonna happen, but my, the, my dream tree would be some sort of um, app controlled tree where the LEDs, I could change them to be whatever color I want, to do whatever dance Chad, I want. Chad, you, for, you forgot last year's app lights. I, re I remember app lights, yes. App, app lights, you, they're Bluetooth. Yep. You, you look on your phone, you design the colors on your phone and the blinking sequence, and then you send it to the lights. And, and now then, these are sold. Oops, I'm playing the app light video. These are sold at Home Depot now. They are sold at Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just had the regular Apple. Uh, I didn't like these spotlight things. They didn't work well. The uh, the C bulb uh, strings worked very well. The kaleidoscope didn't work so well. The C uh, nine lights worked uh, incredibly well. 
Wow, interesting. What I, yeah. And how much are they per string? So this is a 24 light set for $60. Yeah, and I tweeted it because they, after New Year's, they cleared them out for ten dollars what <laughs> yes oh my gosh if and you see I, that again email me directly because yes that's yes. the perfect thing because you could put them up starting at halloween and then you can go all the way to christmas yeah new they, year's and, red white and blue for fourth of july man. And they do purple and orange for Halloween, and yeah. they do val they have Valentine's Day different shades shades of reds. That's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, great. App lights. I need to keep an app eye lights. on app yep. lights. Um, anyway, so that was uh, my Home Depot excursion, and um, uh, trying to decide whether or not to get my own tree this year. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz first. We got to go check out uh, what the heck is it at gizwiz.biz. Why are at gizwiz.biz? Remember, that is where Dickie D writes up all sorts of fantastic articles. This is what makes him a blogger, professional <laughs> blogger. You can check out his blog about every single gadget that we talk about. That's also in the show notes at gizwiz.tv uh, if you click on an episode. We can find all those written up there. Play What the Heck Is It? Click on the banner on the side of the page. And we're trying to figure out what the heck this is. I believe this is a guide for painting your fingernails. You put your finger in the top and you use that guide at the bottom to make sure you don't get paint anywhere else. I think that's, that was, is what this gadget is. Uh, if you have an idea of what this is, email the email here in the uh, article. There are 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24, and many times more, for, for funny, hilarious, creative, and interesting answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters. This is a fan-run show. Thank you guys so much. You choose the crappy corner. You guys support us every single week, every single episode. Uh, Patreon is a place for you to support uh, independent content creators like the Gizwiz, and we have a Patreon page at patreon.com slash Gizwiz. And uh, just a big, big shout out to you guys. You know who yes, you are. You, yep. And Thank this you. is show 81, 81 of 81 independent production number 81. Wow. Wow, you're good at keeping track of that. I've forgotten long ago. Um, so big thanks uh, to you guys, because without our Patreon support, the show couldn't happen. So big, big thank you. Uh, and then also go ahead and check out gizwiz.tv. We, we try to record every Thursday at, uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. Tomorrow, 7.30. 7.30, 730. Pacific. Uh, next week, we do have a schedule change. It'll be on Wednesday at uh, 7.30 Pacific. And uh, then after that, it'll be back on, back seven, on Thursday. Seven, seven, 7.30 Eastern. Eastern. God dang it. 4.30 Pacific. I should just let you do this. I'm all, all over the place today. Um, right, 7.30 Eastern. Uh, normally on Thursdays next week, it will be 7.30 Eastern on Wednesday. Uh, and then can, we and, return to our Thursday schedule and, for about a month. And you normally will also have a banner at the top if there's a schedule yeah, change. Yeah, at, at gizwiz.tv, at gizwiz there's TV. always uh, the, when the next show is. And if uh, you don't catch us live, of course, please subscribe. Please download the show after the fact uh, at gizwiz.tv. Uh, and uh, all of our show notes are there to all the links about the gadgets we talked about and much more. You can also subscribe on iTunes, YouTube. We got our RSS feeds every single way to watch the show at the website gizwiz.tv. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Gizwiz. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>